Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Ministry of Magic, or more specifically, all of the departments and levels that exist within the Ministry of Magic. We see lots of the departments, and different departments are name-dropped on several occasions throughout the books and films, but I've never really thought about how many there actually are. Are there any that we don't know about? The Ministry of Magic is of course the primary form of government in the magical world, at least in the UK. Other countries have a similar structure of government, but have different names, i.e. in the US there is MACUSA, the Magical Congress of the United States of America. Like a muggle government, the Ministry's responsibilities are vast, as they are the primary body that attempt to sustain law and order in the magical world. Like any system of government, in an effort to cover as much ground as possible, the primary governmental body is systematically divided to focus on different sectors of the wizarding world. The governmental body in Britain before the Ministry of Magic was the Wizards Council, which was the longest serving form of government that served Britain. However, the Wizards Council lacked structure, and it was time for their antiquated system to be redeveloped for a more modern time. In the year 1707, the Ministry of Magic that we now know was formed, a newer and more modern form of government that could more appropriately address all of the concerns of the wizarding world, while simultaneously ensuring that the statute of secrecy was carefully upheld. The core reason for the Ministry's existence, summed up quickly, is explained in this quick exchange between Harry and Hagrid. Ministry of Magic messing things up as usual. There's a Ministry of Magic? Of course. They wanted Dumbledore for Minister, of course, but he'd never leave Hogwarts, so old Cornelius Fudge got the job. Bungler if there ever was one. So he pelts Dumbledore with owls every morning, asking for advice. But what does the Ministry of Magic do? Well, their main job is to keep it from the muggles that there's still witches and wizards up and down the country. Why? Why? Blimey Harry. Everyone would be wanting magical solutions to their problems. Nah, we're best left alone. This quote highlights that with all that they take on, their ultimate responsibility is to ensure that there is a harmonious and distinctly segregated relationship with the muggle world. Secrecy is of utmost importance, which is why there are such strict regulations around underage magic, and magic in the muggle world. If muggles knew of all that goes on in the wizarding world, then it could really cause quite the kerfuffle. However, while secrecy is important and always takes highest priority, there are a number of sub-departments inside the ministry that function in order to achieve or uphold this ultimate goal. The Ministry of Magic has seven separate departments in total, which are distributed amongst the ten levels that the ministry building offers. One important thing to note is that as the entire ministry is underground, the higher the floor number, the deeper the floor is. Level by level, let's see what the Ministry of Magic has to offer. Level 1 Level 1 isn't that interesting, and does not house any particular department. The first level is used primarily as office space for the Minister of Magic, who oversees all ministry operations, as well as other administrative staff. Level 2 Level 2 houses the Department of Magical Law Enforcement, which is the largest department of the Ministry. It's arguably the most important department of the Ministry as well, and is responsible for ensuring that all laws are upheld in Britain's wizarding community. Heads of this department have included Barty Crouch Sr., Amelia Bones, Pius Thickness, and others. The Department of Magical Law Enforcement covers a lot of ground, and for this reason it is subdivided into various divisions. These divisions are as follows. Firstly, we have the Aura Headquarters. The Aura Headquarters is where all of the highest ranking members of Magical Law Enforcement work. Auras are responsible for dealing with and arresting all manners of dark witches and wizards. The second division is the improper use of magic office, which is responsible for keeping an eye on witches and wizards and ensuring that they are not committing violations of magic. It's likely that this office is responsible for the trace, which alerts them when young witches and wizards perform illegal magic. And thirdly we have the Wizengamot Administration Services. The Wizengamot is the court of the wizarding world, the High Court of Law and Parliament. The Wizengamot Administration Services Office is responsible for any and all paperwork pertaining to the Wizengamot. Subdivisions of these core divisions include the Administrative Registration Department, the Department of Intoxicating Substances, Hit Wizards, the Investigation Department, the Magical Law Enforcement Patrol, the Ministry of Magic Witch Watchers, the Misuse of Muggle Artifacts Office, and the Office of the Detection and Confiscation of Counterfeit Defensive Spells and Protective Objects. Level 3 Level 3 of the Ministry houses the Department of Magical Accidents and Catastrophes. The primary function of this department is to ensure that all magical damage, caused by accidental means, are repaired. This department has three core divisions. First, the Accidental Magical Reversal Squad. 
This division is comprised of a team of witches and wizards who are responsible for correcting magical mistakes. This division is of particular importance as it is not uncommon for young or inexperienced witches and wizards to have unfavorable results when learning magic. The second division is the Obliviator Headquarters. This division is responsible for all matters related to the well-known spell Obliviate, which is used to erase memories from someone's mind. Obliviators are responsible for wiping the memories of muggles after witnessing acts of magic. The third division is definitely an interesting one, and is called the Muggle-Worthy Excuse Committee. The sole responsibility of this committee is to come up with excuses for magical accidents or occurrences that take place in the Muggle world. Level 4 Level 4 houses the Department for the Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. This is the second largest department in the Ministry, after the Department of Magical Law Enforcement, and is responsible for ensuring that all manners of magical beasts and creatures are kept in check. There are seven divisions of this department. The first is the Beast Division, which handles all matters pertaining to creatures classified as beast. The second is the Being Division, which handles all matters pertaining to creatures classified as being. And the third is the Spirit Division, which handles all matters pertaining to creatures classified as spirit. A beast is a magical creature that does not have sufficient intelligence to understand laws. A being is a magical creature that should possess sufficient intelligence to understand laws. And a spirit is reserved primarily for ghosts or those who have passed away. The fourth division is the Goblin Liaison Office, which works to improve relationships between goblins and wizards. The fifth division is the Centaur Liaison Office, which works in a similar fashion to the other office, but deals with centaurs. The sixth division is the Pest Advisory Board, which helps to deal with infestations in wizarding homes. They're basically pest control. And lastly, the seventh department is the Office of Misinformation, which provides the Muggle Prime Minister with non-magical explanations for obviously magical events that may have occurred in the Muggle world. This division is similar to the Muggle-worthy Excuse Committee, and they likely work quite closely together. Level 5 Level 5 of the Ministry houses the Department of Magical Cooperation. The goal of this department is to create discourse and collaborate with witches and wizards from other countries. It is the wizarding equivalent to the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office. This department is broken up into three divisions. First, we have the International Magical Trading Standards Body. This division is responsible for overseeing trade practices between international magical bodies. The second division is the International Confederation of Wizards, which is basically the United Nations of the wizarding world. It is an intergovernmental body, and the overseer of this division is called the Supreme Mugwump. Dumbledore was Supreme Mugwump for a period of time. The third division is the International Magical Office of Law, which is responsible for monitoring laws and policies put in place by the International Confederation of Wizards. Level 6 Level 6 houses the Department of Magical Transportation. This department is responsible for all matters pertaining to magical transport. There are four main divisions of this department. The first is the Flu Network Authority. As we know, the Flu Network is a network of interconnected fireplaces, bridging wizarding buildings together. In order to use these fireplaces, you need to use flu powder, which this department regulates. The second division of this department is Broom Regulatory Control. This division is responsible for ensuring that people are A. Riding brooms safely, and B. That broomsticks are in proper, safe working order. It is their responsibility to confiscate brooms if they have been tampered with. The third division of this department is the Port Key Office. A port key is a magical object that allows witches and wizards to instantly transport to a specific and defined location. Usually commonplace objects are transformed into port keys, as to not draw any unnecessary attention toward them. This division is responsible for overseeing all port key transportation. The fourth division is the Apparition Test Center, which helps to grant apparition licenses to witches and wizards. Apparition is of course a magical means of transportation, akin to teleportation where the user instantly travels from one location to another. It is a very difficult skill to learn, which is why there is regulation surrounding it. Level 7 Level 7 of the Ministry of Magic is reserved for the Department of Magical Games and Sports. As you might be able to guess by the name, this department is responsible for all wizarding sporting events, most notably Quidditch and the Quidditch World Cup. This department is broken out into three subdivisions. The first division is the British and Irish Quidditch League headquarters, which governs all aspects of the British and Irish Quidditch League. The second division is the official Gobstones Club. Gobstones is a game that witches and wizards play, and this division is responsible for organizing and planning tournaments. The third division is the Ludicrous Patents Office. Just like in the Muggle world, a patent refers to intellectual property introducing an idea or concept. And just like in the Muggle world, there are some ridiculous patents that need to be dealt with. 
This office deals with the licensing of ludicrous patents. Level 8. Level 8 houses no departments, but is the location of the Ministry Atrium, Ministry Reception Area, Fountain of Magical Brethren, and Security Desk. We see Level 8 in the films quite a bit, most notably in the epic battle between Dumbledore and Voldemort, which was in the atrium. Level 9. Level 9 houses the Department of Mysteries, a department that we should all be quite familiar with, as it is instrumental in the books and films. The Department of Mysteries is responsible for studying the mysteries of the Wizarding World, Mysteries associated with love, space, thought, time, death, and other things. Basically anything that is unknown. Anything pertaining to this department is highly confidential, and those who work in this department are referred to as unspeakables. The divisions of this department are broken up by area of study, and includes the following. The Brain Room, the Hall of Prophecy, the Death Chamber, the Love Chamber, the Space Chamber, and the Time Room. There's also the Room of Doors, which is a large circular room where everything is black. Level 10. On Level 10 of the Ministry of Magic exists Courtroom 10, the courtroom where all crimes against wizardkind are addressed. The Council of Magical Law and Wizengamot conduct hearings here, and this is where Death Eaters were charged for their crimes in the Wizarding War. Harry's disciplinary hearing for his use of a Patronus charm in Little Whinging was also held here. Level 10 is also home to the Muggleborn Registration Commission Forum Courtroom, which was used for hearings pertaining to Muggleborn wizards, as well as the Ministry Detention Area, which is a cell block that holds witches and wizards in between trials, and, if convicted, before they're sent to Azkaban. And that concludes all of the levels, departments, divisions, and subdivisions of the Ministry of Magic. I thought that I knew the Ministry well, but when doing research on this topic, it turned out there was a lot that I didn't know. That's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.